The bobbit worm is an aquatic predatory polychaete worm dwelling on the ocean floor. It specializes in ambushing its prey. It does this by burying its long body in an ocean bed composed of gravel, mud or corals where it waits for a stimulus to one of its five antennae, attacking when it senses its prey. Armed with sharp teeth, it is known to attack with such speed and ferocity that its prey is sometimes sliced in half. As the bobbit worm belongs to the Euconids family, it is able to inject a toxin into their prey which stuns or kills it such that prey much larger than the worm itself can be eaten and digested. In the episode of Blue Planet 2, named the Coral Reef, it shows the bobbit worm is capable of killing fish that are formidable predators in their own right, such as lionfish. Little is known about the sexual habits and lifespan of the bobbit worm, but researchers hypothesize that sexual reproduction starts at an early stage, maybe even when the worm is around 100mm or 4 inches in length. This is very early in the life of the bobbit worm, considering these worms can grow to sizes of nearly 3 meters or 10 feet in some cases, although most observations point to a much lower average length of 1 meter or 3 foot 3 inches, and an average of 25 millimeters or 1 inch in diameter. Bobbit worms are found in warmer oceans around the world, including the Indo-Pacific and the Atlantic. Bobbit worms may be accidentally introduced into artificial environments. In 2009, the Blue Reef Aquarium in New Quay, Cornwall, discovered a bobbit worm in one of their tanks. The workers had seen the damage caused by the worm, such as fish being injured or disappearing and coral being sliced in half, but did not find it until they started taking the display apart in the tank. They nicknamed the worm Barry. Another bobbit worm around three and a half feet in length and several centimetres thick was found on October 7th, 2013 at a branch of Maidenhead Aquatics in Woking, Surrey. The name bobbit worm was coined in the 1996 book Coral Reef Animals of the Indo-Pacific in reference to Lorena Bobbit, who was known very much in the public consciousness. The name is inspired only by the scissor-like jaws of the worm, a common superstition from the name that female euconids cut off the male's penises is baseless and the worms in fact lack penises entirely, as they are broadcast spawners. As they are broadcast spawners, they release their gametes or their sperms and eggs into the open water for external fertilisation, such as with the same as coals themselves, anemones and salmon are the best examples of this behaviour, but these worms specialise in it. 